Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode on the Geek Squad server, Logical Geek Boys Patreon. Today I'm here back at spawn, and the reason for that is because I want to, to show you what I did between episodes. It's great Oscar. Uh, I did the, the paths here, so now we have paths everywhere. You can see there are paths going around everywhere, and I also built these two trees. Uh, I'm conflicted about that one. I'm not so sure because it, it covers a bit the, the town hall and I, I'm not so sure if I want to keep it or if I, I want to take it down and maybe move it somewhere else, maybe put it here or something. I'm not sure. Uh, and inside people have already started giving giving positions to, to the armor stands like bear is flying, and uh, Rose is here on a fighting stand. Also, Oscar is running with a sword in his hand. That's dangerous. You never run with swords in his hand. I still have to, to do mine. And there's tons of people still have to, to do theirs. Uh, I also did that. I'm not sure if I showed this last episode, but I, I also did Logic. He's holding a comparator as a rest on Mastery is. And here we have all the admins. We have little Vic. Hey Vicky! Vicky 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 Vicky! The, the armor stands are locked, so we, I can punch it, punch it and nothing happens. At least the, the ones the, that are already made, like uh, I guys went. Oh, this one's not locked. We should lock this, his armor stand. Uh, and the basement is is also complete. That uh, I'm sure I showed you. Now we have an inner chest there. The, the middle here is going to to be redone. We are going to take this down, make a, a staircase down for new people on the server, so they can can spawn there, read the rules, and then come out. And we already have the the portal to the north. Uh, I like a lot how the, the portal looks. It's going to to be so cool when we can we can see the the void all around. Like the the void seems like it's following you when you look at it. It's very very cool. I love it. And if I go through it, you can see we, we are in, spawning in the middle of these nether portals. And this is a completely new new area. If uh, I do my my F3, you can see we are minus twelve thousand and nine nine hundred on the on the Z, so we went far, far away, and this is a very cool place where people can start building and they will want to explore because the, the server right now is very, very big. And to go back, you, you can go through the Nether, or you will be able to go through the Nether when we make the tunnels because they are not done yet. Everything takes time in this game, or you can just do slash and spawn. And you got to spawn. And we are back here. Uh, I also did. It was not me because I'm not OP on the server. I'm a moderator, but uh, I don't have the, the the permission to the permit to to do this. But when you when you step on these pressure plates once a day, it only happens once a day. Let's leave. So times go fast, and maybe I can show I can show you in chat the town hall herald. Say something funny to you? Not funny. It's a reverence to to our Lord, Logical Geek Boys. You can read it here. It says long live Logical Geek Boy, Lord of all the geeks, master of the nerd, and ruler of this land. Uh, it was Akai who put the command block under here because he has the, the admin powers and made it the put the command block and put some text on, text on it. The, the reason we made it only say that. When people go through once a day, it only works once a day. It's because people are going to go through those, those portals when they are done, and we don't want to, to spam the chat with that. I really wanted to, to show you on camera, but you have to wait to, for time to go back, to, to go by, sorry. Because the, it's on a cooldown. When someone steps on it, it gets on a cooldown. And when the cooldown ends, I think it's 20 minutes, which is the, the time of a, 
a full Minecraft day. It sends the, the message again. But today we are not going to, to work on spawn. We are going to to, ch to change a bit the, the scenery. And we are going to go to, to the Shroomlands, which is the, the place where I live on the server. And here on the Shroomlands you can see I have uh, ten, tons of things marked out. These cobblestone blocks are going to be paths. They are not probably not on the place where the paths are really going to go, but uh, just so I have uh, a notion what uh, I'm working on. Uh, I always do this. I like to pillar up, look at the rain. And these orange blocks are probably going to be a river, a portal is going to, to go there. Uh, Akoi lives up there, you can see he's working on, on his base. He's, he's going to make a, a very cool storage there. He's been been working on it on creative for, for a bit and he's a redstone master so it's going to be cool for sure. And, and here where the let me pillar up you see the these orange orange sand blocks, red sand blocks. This is a chunk. If I press F3G or F3G, you can see we are inside of the shank. That marks the, the corners of the chunk. And this is where we are going to, to build a carrot farm. She's going to we're going to, to grab a villager, a farmer from from our, our breeder, that is that building over there. Let me zoom. You see that building over there? It's a villager breeder. And we, we are going to, to bring a, a villager here, a farmer, and he's going to collect carrots for us. So we can tr we can trade in the, the town hall, which is that mushroom there. So we can trade to to eventually get uh, mending books and stuff like that by trading with villagers. We can already do it in the in the communal area, in, in the shopping district. But the, I want to to have it here on the island for easy access. And the, I really, really want to to start trading with villagers a lot. So we we need we need something to trade with. And right now we don't have much as a, as farms. In here we have an iron farm uh, behind that waterfall. We have the, we have here the Ward farm, but we don't have nothing to trade. We also have a, somewhere behind that mushroom in the ground. There's a there's a sugarcane farm, so we can trade paper. But it's honestly, the only thing we can we can trade easily that we have enough materials to to trade with it's paper. So I want carrots to trade with village. Uh, the, the farm we are going with is a logical geek boys farm, so I'm going to, to dig, it, dig all this and the, the farm is going to be underground. Uh, and the reason I'm going with logical geek boys farm, first of all it's because it's easy to build and it's a wonderful farm that works simply great. And the second reason is because we are on logical geek boys Patreon server and it makes sense to make reverence to, to the master. There's a reason why why we all play here. We are on his team, so. And yeah, so I'm going to dig this all. The the idea is that uh, I w I want the farm to to not be visible, so it's going to be in the ground. So I'm going to dig like maybe six or seven blocks. I want to make an entrance like through a cave to it. I'm going to have maybe going from this path here or from from here maybe it would also make sense. Like make this path go go up and have it here like a, a cave with a, an entrance on it. I I have to see. I don't have everything planned this time. So I'm just going to doing it, and as I said, the farm is not mine. It's from Logical Geek Boy. The, um, the link to his channel, of course, is in the description. It always is. But uh, I'm also going to to link his video where where he made his farm for 112 and uh, the video where he makes the the fix for 114. 
and he explains it to, with detail the reason why it should be all inside of the chunk, the, the lighting, the, the path working of the villagers, he explains everything in detail. He's a wonderful, wonderful teacher. He has, he has a, a gift with, with words and he, he really, really knows how to explain it. If you, if you want to learn some more, even if you're not doing this far, you should watch the tutorial because you will certainly, certainly learn something. He, he makes simple farms, they are all from, from, from his own creation and he, he has, uh, it's, it's really a gift, I can tell you, it's really a gift to, onto the way he explains things. It, and he, he has uh, such a depth of knowledge with the game. He knows so much, he, he learned so much from his, his tutorials, it's amazing. It's really amazing. So I'm going to, to dig this up and then I'm going to come back to you. So guys, here we are. I finished digging the hole. The, it is all inside the, the, the shanks. The same shank. Like, if you, you see here, I pressed F3 and G and now you can see the, the shank borders. And it's all inside the shank. It's going. The shank is 16 by 16, but we are going only to use like 15. So we have a, a block around that's going to to be a glass wall. I want to to make this a cave all around this, make this look like it's inside of a cave. I'm going to use grey glass to, to close up the farm, and and the, we can exit through here for now. Uh, I think I'm going to make the entrance kind of like here and it's also going to, to be like a cave and it's going to, to lead there and let's take out the, sh the chains uh, and I also did a hopper line going under the, the dirt in here we are going to, to have a hopper minecart uh, I need to, to craft it to craft it, not craft it words are very hard so you just place that there and the minecart here it will have a, a, a block on top of it I have to, to decide I'm going to try and find there, there it is the date box of the rail I'm hitting the rail you can see now the, the minecart ju just settled so it, it is there like it's not over a, a track or anything it's just over the block, over the, the upper. The track must be here. Yes, it is. And we are going to, to push a, a dirt block into it so it is not, not visible. Like we are not going to to be able to, to see the to see the cart and it's going to pick up the crops the same. And right here next to it we are going to, to place an observer. It has to be the other way around. Let's take one more block. Oh, I should have placed one above, so like this. And let's take this up. We grab it. Let's look up as much as we can right here in the corner. And click. As you can see, that arrow goes up, this arrow goes down. And this creates oh, oh, upper clock. Uh, sorry. Okay. Observer clock, it, it's ticking, and we if we put the rest on on top of it, you can see it's changing from zero to fifteen. So it will update the crop here every time the, that the, the farmer comes and plants the on the, the dirt block we are going to, to place here. I can do it also. A piston shouldn't be a sticky one. Uh, can I make a lever? Mm, no, I can't. I can make a button, but that doesn't work since it's a sticky piston. I didn't have any... I can do it like this. So, I push that block and you can see now we can tilt the soil and that rest on there is going to update this. And the way we are going to to do it so the, the crop there pops out is we are going to 
to build above here a ceiling and over over where is to the water log block the this water log block irrigates the crops like four blocks each way so you can see this whole square is now irrigated and uh, if I tilt the soil to it's going to be the same like four blocks to each side is going to be irrigated by the, by this water log block here uh, and we are going to, to place like two blocks above so right above my head it's going to be a glowstone which should We'll keep this block here always at light level 7. So, with light level 7, we the player cannot plant the crop there, but the villager can. And every time he plants the, the crop, it will be updated by the wrestler. We'll pop out, go into the, the minecart hopper, and it will go through the line, and we, we'll end up here. Like, if I throw this roll on the floor, you can see it disappeared. It was grabbed by the hopper. And now it's here, and it, it will happen the same. So if I if I do it and I'm standing on the block, the, the hopper will grab it before I do, and the same will happen to, with the, the villager. So we're going to, to basically steal the crop from him every time he, he tries to, to plant it. So there's going to be crops all around, and he's going to go and collect the crops. And every time he has crops in the inventory, you will see this block. And he'll come here and try to plant, and will, he will insist until he has no crops in his in his inventory. So he, he will completely empty his inventory, and then he will go go back, like uh, grab some more, replant stuff, and then he will see that block again, and he'll come here, and the same will happen. So the, the farm will work work quite quite fast. It's a very cool mechanic, very very cool mechanic. I love it. I'll, how this farm works. Uh, I never done it, it's the, the first time I'm doing it, but it's so so simple to set up. You don't need much, like in, in early game I'm pretty sure you could do it. And I don't know if this so is going to be enough to tilt all this soil. Maybe I'll have to go and craft another one. I have a diamond ore somewhere, because uh, I planted a, a big field in, in a place on the server you also are going to see soon because we are going to start a build competition and just to decorate the place before we start the competition I, I, I planted a, a big big farm there big wheat field and with some potatoes, carrots, uh, some beetroots it looks cool, it has a windmill in the middle yeah, you're going to, to see that some other day about this one, two blocks, we need to place a glowstone. We have to tilt this again, because I trampled it. Uh, like this, the player the player and the villager can can run through, because if uh, it has some might, like if I have the water and I have uh, something above so it doesn't fall in the water, you would get stuck, because the the pathfinding of the villager is terrible. It's even worse than the, the regular mods. So that's why we need the, the water log block. Instead of putting, I don't know, a lily pad or a carpet or something that has a hitbox on top. This is two blocks high and the, the villagers are a little bit taller than the player. So they, they won't hit, hit the head here. Which is simply perfect. And around the, the glowstone I'm placing, I'm going to to fill the this hole with stone. I don't know why I take so low, but yeah, I did. I'm going with. So let's. The farm is basically ready. If we, if now we just just brought the the villager here is just that to fill the ceiling so the light levels would be correct and if we brought the, the villager here the farm was already working uh, I haven't chosen the, the villager yet and I have to, to go through a few, a few on my 
my power fuel was repeated. It was a guy that made that. It's 100% his design. He didn't copy it from, from any tutorials on YouTube or nothing. It was him that he invented that Yolge Breed. It works great and looks great, which is a hard thing to do. Usually, if Yolge Breed, Breeders are terrible looking. But that one looks, looks very nice, even if, he, if it was not inside the, of a building. To, will not spoil the view at all because it really does look nice. So I'm going to finish covering this up uh, and I think I'm going to, to dig a bit around it. Uh, you guys don't want to see that because again it's a bit boring to, to see me build. Uh, sorry, to see me dig. So I'm going to, to do it. I'll probably also fill this on top or then again maybe not. This is going to be flat for now, but I'm going to come back. This is going to to have a bit of shape to it. I don't know how I'm going to, to do it yet. I want this to to look like a proper cave. I don't want the, this flat roof, so the, the light is going to be at this side, because it has to be at this side, so the, this block here is at level 7. Let me see if I can show you with F3. Okay, can you see there? Uh, block light zero, zero. That's not right. Here light is 14. Block light 8, block light 7. It's funny. Maybe it's an optifine thing, but when you are in a crop, like since it's lower than the block, there's a little bit of height there. You cannot see the. It says block block light zero. It's not. It's seven. Like this block here, where the the, the redstone is is eight. Here is seven. That's fine. Never noticed that. It's the first time. Thought you could always see the level of the the light on the block, but you really can't. If you are in the it's less than the block. Now I'm curious to, to see if the, the same applies with the soul sand, since soul sand is also lower than the full block. I have to, to test that out. If you if you know that, uh, please tell me in the, the comments below. I'm pretty sure most of the people didn't know that either. That's funny. That's Minecraft for you. So, I'll just this from the top. So I'm going to, to finish this and as I said I'm going to, to dig a bit more around it. I'll probably bring the, the villager in and I'm going to start planting some crops. Uh, and then I, I'll come back to you before I start decorating the place. Hey guys, I'm back. It, says, it has been a couple of days since I, last, since I recorded the last clip. And the reason for that is because I had visits at people visiting here at home in real life and I was not able to, to record because of noise and stuff but I, I did some work as you see there's no hole here anymore I covered it all I fixed the, the tray and now it's it's seamless you don't don't even know there's a, a farm underneath and here as you can see I also did the entrance as I said I was I was going to do it. This is not the the final shape of it. I'll, I'm still tweaking it, and I, I still have to, to work on it. I already did the, all, uh, not all, but most of the the decoration. I have mushrooms everywhere, some leaves. Uh, I don't know if this is too dark for you to. I even wanted it to to be darker and moody. And we have a, a farmer in there. We don't have crops yet. Because I, I wanted to see if he had something in his inventory, so I've been AFKing a bit. But uh, now I grabbed a, a bunch of carrots and uh, I'm going to, to plant it. To plant them and uh, let him work. So I did the, the decor, like uh, I take a bit the, the roof to make the, like these pointy steps inside. And I, I tried to, to keep this moody. I also did the, the redstone. You can see from there the middle the, the upper line comes here 
then it comes over here. This will all be covered up. You, you won't, won't see none of these hoppers. And then from here, you have a simple hopper block. Like if I throw, like this here, you can see it working. I have a, a dropper line. And the, this is not the hopper block, it's a, a comparator block. You have the, the dropper elevator, and up there, it's another hopper line that comes all around. I made it come all around so, so I could do the this shape of the cave. And it comes here and into the chests that are over there. I have all the storage here. So you can see the, the dirt we sent is here. It comes through, through the hoppers and it starts filling from the bottom up from this side to the other. And we have uh, like 4, 8, 12, 24 double chests here that are going to be filled. Uh, I don't have uh, an overflow system yet. Uh, I'm missing a, a hand the chest here. I don't have an overflow system here yet, but uh, I'm going to, to make it behind this wall. Like the, the line of chest is going to come, then we, we will have the hopper. When all it's filled, it will throw the the carrots into into a cactus or into lava or something. I think the, the cactus because of the, the noise. I don't want to hear lava noise when I'm when I'm in here. And uh, because of the deactivation level of the of the, the villagers, uh, I think I will have to to have game inside of the cat. It's no problem that the, that it's dark because you you guys know that mobs won't spawn inside the the mushroom islands except for, for Phantom. So we cannot uh, AFK with sky access, so the cave will be perfect for, for AFK. I don't want to eat. Let's eat first so I don't eat any carrots. I don't have much carrots right now. Only it is 45, so I'm going to, to plant them. Why is this too dark? It's too dark for me to, to plant. Mm, doesn't seem right. Why, why, why? That's weird. Mm. It doesn't matter, eventually you will be able to, to play there. So... I could also hide light outside. It only matters that this block is level 7. This block here, I cannot even, can't even see what level of light. Yeah, it's a zero. Let me see here. It's five, six. Mm. I think I, I'm going to to need some light outside the farm or add more more light to to the top of it. I'm not sure. I change this to maybe a massive one. Because they need to, to go there. So let's change this one to a mossy one because the villager needs needs to go there. So the, the farm is basically that. It's not, not working yet, as I said the it needs this needs to, to grow. Uh, let me see if I can one mill some of it. If it, it starts farming, hopefully. And I'm not sure about the light levels here. I might have to, to tweak them. I might have to, to add some more light. I didn't want it to, I wanted to to keep this thing moody. Like see there the, the cave outside is kinda moody and mushrooms grow everywhere. I wanted to to get this humid uh, kind of feel like with uh, the moss and the vines and stuff like that uh, but I, I'm not sure if I grab the blocks I'm not sure if I'll be able to, to do it and there it goes working yeah man just go ahead and work do your work Just drop this here. 
think I'm going to just go behind him and, and do this for a while. But yeah, so guys, uh, I don't have uh, much time to record, so this episode is going to to be it. I'm not going to to do anything else. I'll probably work off camera and cover all this redstone. This doesn't need to to be seen, so going to cover this up, I'm going to, to check what's up with the with light levels inside the farm, see if the, the farmer can, can plant these corners, if he doesn't, we're kind of in trouble, I will we'll have to light stuff from the outside, I put some, some even lights, my inventory is a mess, put some even lights like here, so, but then again it doesn't look so good. You know, like here it looks moody and looks cool, and like this it will be too much light in there, and I don't like it. I really, really don't like it, that's not what I wanted at all. Uh, but yeah, so guys, off camera I'm going to, to work on that, I'm going to, to see if I can get this working properly. Like, he's doing his job, he's going to... to to plant uh, the, the whole field and then hopefully he will start planting on that block there. Uh, if I cannot get this to work, I'll just uh, contact Logical Geek Boy. He's a very cool guy and uh, he, he will help me with, with that. Why those corners don't, are not planted. No, I don't think it's going to be much of a deal if there's nothing in the, the corners if the villager cannot plant there. Uh, I don't think it's going to be much of a deal. So I'm going to to get here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was very fun for me. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm probably going to to do some stuff off camera. Uh, I'm going to work out also a bit up here. See where that orange line here. I want to to raise the train. I want to eventually make a, a lake here. The next episode we are going to work on the portal and decorating all this area. It's going to be a ton of fun to do it. Uh, so maybe we will work on the lake also. But that's a big boring job like doing all the landscape and stuff. So I'll probably work on it off camera. When you guys see me next episode I'll be probably changed all the this mycelium to to stone and stuff like that to, to make the, the bottom of the lake and I, I will raise the, the hill over there until here make a a, a proper lake here and yeah so I might work also on the, the paths we'll see depending on the, the time I I have, I'm going to, to do some work off camera. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I did enjoy it a lot. It's fun to, to do redstone. Not that, that I'm very good at it, but it's very, very fun to do to do the redstone. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.